more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those like those poems from college. I mean, I, I, every couple of years I take a look at it and I, I, yeah. it's yeah. just the worst. No, I, yeah. it's, it's completely, well, here's, here's it. I become my worst self insofar as I become completely maudlin, no humor, no irony. I mean, it's, when, I, when I do that, I allow myself just to uh, um, bathe in sentimentality and self-pity. And who wants to read that? People want to be entertained. I also think of things that the ancient rhetorician Cicero said, that the job of either the rhetorician in speech or of the writer is to um, uh, inform, to, to, inst to instruct, and to entertain, and to move. And I try to keep those three things in mind at all times, too. Like, remember what Cicero said, and Horace, who said something yeah. similar. Move, instruct, delight. No. no. This is all secondhand knowledge. This is all secondhand mm -hmm. knowledge. Right. That's good enough. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> Most of my knowledge is secondhand knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm a writer. Another thing that I like about writing is something that one of my favorite writers, he writes in French, I read him in Great Translations by Richard Howard Roland Barton, write, wrote in an autobiography. He, he says that um, he can afford to be indifferent to his stupidity when he writes. He doesn't really mean stupidity. He means ignorance. But he probably said something like stupidity. But, you know, I'm not a philosopher. I'm a writer. And so I don't need to worry about things I don't know enough about because I have enough else things to worry about, <laughs> the things that I've mentioned and others. So that's more advice I have to offer other writers, which is, you know, we're all stupid. And to some extent, it doesn't matter when you're writing because you have enough else to draw on. You don't need to know everything. You know enough. Hmm. Well, I'm not a historian. I like to joke because I'm a literary critic and a rather um, ludic one at that. You know, I have joked that my, my critical motto is make it up or true enough. And to some extent, that's true. I mean, I, um, I learn enough about a field that I'm writing on to do what I have to do with it. It has to do with the kind of brain I have. I seem to be able to process a lot of information really quickly in order to do something with it, either teach a class or write an essay or a book, and then I lose it very quickly. So part of the process of learning what, how to be a writer has been learning what kind of intelligence I have. And that's, a, that's one aspect of it. I can absorb a lot pretty quickly, knowing that I'll forget it, and that's OK, because I'll be able to do something with it in writing. And then I'll move on, and I'll learn something else, or something of something else. It'll be enough mm -hmm. to be, and, and, and um, not everybody is like that. I mean, some people are real steel traps. And so as a writer, they can uh, spend a lot of time learning everything there is to know about a subject, because they know they're not going to lose it, yeah. and then sit down and do something with more than I'm able to. And work on it for a longer period of time than I am. I have to write very quickly because I know that my memory, my short-term memory, is not the greatest. Um, it's kind of weird in that it's good. My short-term memory is really good in the really short term. Um, and uh, so learn to feel quickly, write quickly based on what I can remember, and then move on to something else. And not to beat myself up over the fact that my memory isn't better. It is what it is to use a really trite and meaningless expression, but it is what it is.